every year these people come in and talk about the amazing lego lagos photo festival and i've been and it's it's absolutely amazing it gets better each and every year and this year we have shannon lawrence who's the assistant curator of the festival and she's going to be letting us know all the gist all the goodies about the Lagos Falls Festival this year. How are you? Great. Thank you so much for having me. We have something in common. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it, but we just know. We just know. Uh, so uh, let us talk about Lagos Falls. Now, what is the theme this year? Every year you have a theme. So what is the theme you're running with this year? So this year the theme is Staging Reality Documenting Fiction. And the theme examines contemporary photographers working in Africa who toe the line between phot photography and truth. So people who are incorporating conceptual practices and performative strategies that expand traditional photographic approaches and techniques. And while uh, photography is historic historically been uh, positioned as a window into the world uh, with an immediate and tangible relationship to its subject matter, many contemporary artists who are working um, on the continent are incorporating these image-based strategies to move beyond the confines of the photojournalistic gaze. So that's that's the the theme in a nutshell. That is a lot yeah. of stuff. I mean, that is a lot. Okay, so um, I, I can't even I can't even say that again. What is the theme again? So the, 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 the yeah. So the the theme is tagged staging reality, documenting fiction. Staging reality, documenting fiction. Exactly. Interesting. Now you always have all these fancy fancy themes. Who came up with the theme this year? I think this theme was uh, sort of a collaborative, um, a collaborative uh, piece that, that came about. And actually, it, by the time I started working at, at uh, AAF in Lagos Photo, the theme had, had already been in place. But it had sort of been something that was brainstormed amongst the curatorial team and the creative team um, leading into this year's festival. I think just based around a, a, seeing a lot of uh, photographers' work at last year's festival that was starting to touch on this theme and exploring how these artists are imagining sort of different futures and um, and seeing through through the eyes of these photographers how they're um, kind of deconstructing the world around them and then imagining you know what it could be that that sounds interesting now who's coming this year Wh which kind of photographers are, are coming this year so we have as always um, sort of a great international group of photographers coming and we don't have all of them locked in yet but I can definitely let you know that um, some of some returning names so uh, you know Lakin Ogunbuano yes, Laki Ogunbuano <laughs> thank you I yes. always struggle <laughs> and uh, Leon's Abu, Go Abu Gonjol <laughs> Okay. Patrick Wilcock, Christina DiMadel, who I think people were very familiar with her series last year called The Afronauts, uh -huh. which was um, a very sort of staging reality yeah. um, piece. Nicholas Henri, Richard Moss. So these are some of the some of the, the names coming. So how many? You don't you don't yet know how many people will be exhibiting yet? Yeah, I think right now, and we're still confirming the list. I think at the moment we have. 30 photographers um, that we're working with and it's ever growing. It's always growing and Laki Ogumbawa is the Nigerian name that we know for now that we'll be exhibiting. Have you have, have you seen any of the work so far for the... Have they started working on the theme already? Do you know? Yeah, I believe people have started working on the theme. Um, it is our head curator Medina Duggar who is working directly with the artist, and unfortunately, she's she's uh, just traveled, so she'll be back in a couple of weeks. So she's currently working directly with everybody, previewing their pieces. So I have I've yet to see um, any of the the pieces that are worked on for this year. Um, so I'm really actually excited. I'm in the dark along with everybody else. All right, so 30 for now, 30 photographers coming to Lagos Photo. Now, usually there are also seminars during during the week. First of all, when is it? So, um, the festival will launch in October, okay. and it will be a month-long festival, as you said, with different satellite events and seminars and workshops. Um, and all of those dates uh, will be released in the coming weeks as okay. to specifically when those are. Um, I can tell you that we're... You know, we, we just recently hosted the World Press Photo Exhibition here in Lagos, and so we're now exploring the idea of maybe doing um, a, a photo journalist pavilion for Nigerian photographers, okay. a photo journalist to, to exhibition. We will, um, of course, have workshops. Some, some of the events planned around the festival are also um, 
you know, a potential trip to to visit uh, Benin, and so you know, lots lots happening with the program, <coughs> and um, all of the dates are going to be coming out very shortly. Okay, so we know the dates are coming up. Now, what I am interesting interested in is the competition. There's always a competition for uh, upcoming photographers or people who don't even know anything about photography but just take good pictures. You know, there's some of those people on your Instagram that take good selfies and it's just always flawless. They just know how to do it and make themselves look skinny. Yeah. Teach me how to do that. So, uh, <laughs> what competition is there this time around? So as always, you know, Lagos Photo is partnered with Etisalat. They've been um, our title sponsor since the, since the festival started in 2010. And every year alongside the, the festival, there's the Etisalat Photo Competition. And as you said, the competition is really an opportunity for young photographers, for amateur photographers to sort of uh, present their work and, and, and have an opportunity to um, be recognized by their peers and by Lagos Photo. And so it's a great competition. Um, and this year, the competition is called Mastering the Selfie, and um, we're now in the second um, theme, or the competition is broken up into four themes, which happen uh, per month. So we're now just wrapping up the second theme, which is called Fashion. So you still have two days. You can submit your photos um, online. You can submit your photos online or uh, by Facebook or Twitter at Lagos Photo App, so you can just have a look there online. And um, the contest will close for fashion on the 27th. And then the new contest for architecture will open on August 11th. And really, the theme is mastering the selfie. So we really want people to like to think outside the box and to get creative. You know, I think everyone's familiar with this selfie that was taken at, was it like the Oscars? With, yes. With Ellen and, and the whole, you know, group of actors behind her. And that's really like what got us thinking about, like, how can people use the selfie to really engage their community? So um, we hope that, you know, for fashion, uh, sorry, fashion recently closed, I'm speaking out of turn, for nightlife, people will really get involved and uh, show us those scenes of you out, nightlife, what does Lagos nightlife look like to you? And uh, you can vote using the Lagos Photo app, which is powered by Atisalat, and you can um, download it at the Google Play Store or the iTunes Store. So um, the next theme, is it nightlife or architecture? Architecture is the upcoming so, theme. So what kind of what would you be looking for would you just go and take a selfie of a building or you have to be in it yeah i mean so and then take exactly so you have to you have to so enter so like oh please enter i mean for for so for nightlife you still have two days for that i mean you can be super creative it could be you at a club i don't know i don't know what your nightlife looks like sometimes my nightlife is just like on my couch with a book <laughs> that is what my life like every day of my nightlife is like so that. you know you could just like shoot with you with bridget jones yeah <laughs> i'm not the only sad person alive this is bridget so that's I, that i could do that and for architecture you know i'm really excited about this architecture theme because i think lagos really has some beautiful buildings and so i'm really excited to see what people will do and and how they interpret this architecture theme but you know get creative use different angles use different use unusual spaces and and again, the idea is mastering the selfie. So we really want people to think outside of the box of, you know, normally you see these the selfie and you just see a photo of the person taking it, but mm -hmm. we really want to we really want to try and see more than that. What can you capture in the selfie? Okay.